Hello everybody, this is Billy PC coming to you again with another video guys from Deus Ex Human Revolution for Cloak and Daggers and The Take. Uh, to basically begin this, uh, talk to this lady here, uh, she's right next to your apartment building, it's kind of hard to miss. Uh, do note that this is a pretty long video guide and because of that reason alone, um, I'm going to put annotations in the description below uh, for the uh, time frames of which if you don't have, enough, have a lot of time you can just skip to. Um, otherwise... Otherwise, uh, I sped this up as much as possible. It used to be really long. It's actually shorter than it was. But for right now, go ahead and accept it. Go ahead and ask any questions you might want to, especially with Oma the O'Malley part of things. Uh, the games, basically, you have the Augs and the non-Augs. Uh, you don't have to worry so much about the non-Augs as you do about the, I mean, the, the augmented ones as much as the non-Augs, because the non-Augs just so happen to be... Uh, they just so happen to be the, uh, um, well, I had a brain fart just there. Um, they want to, the not, the regular augmented, uh, gangs won't attack you on site. It's the, it's the other ones that will. Um, and I'll show you later about, uh, that specific point. Alright, for right now then, let's go on to the next part, which is to, uh, go to O'Malley's apartment, uh, Go actually, I'm going to actually go find him, Ali. This can be done in any order now. He'll either be down at this corner or down where that storage locker was for uh, Muddy Ties. Um, yes. Either one of those two. Actually, let's go ahead and talk to him and go ahead and ask him any questions you may you may want to. Now, there's three three ways. He's like, oh, well, have you been followed? Now, if you want, you can be sarcastic and say, yes, I was followed by two clowns and a midget. That one's probably my, probably my personal favorite, but for the sake of the video, I'm just going to be professional about it. And I'm going to speed through the uh, the actual conversation that you have with him because, well, who wants to listen to a three-minute conversation with the guy? And you can just read uh, read the actual uh, conversation down below. I left subtitles on, so I mean, it's convenient, right? And after it's all said and done, you can also ask him any extra any extra questions you want. But for the sake of the video, I kind of didn't ask him much at all. I just kind of showed, showed you what you got. Um, I guess you can ask him like where his stuff is, but uh, Jenny, the cop lady, already told you. Next thing to do is pick up the package. It's actually right across the street from your apartment. It's not really hard that hard to miss. No, uh, Derelict Road, that's the part where the, uh, Nodogs are, and that's where you should probably be aware of, not to wander down there where they can perfectly see you. Uh, now right here, uh, Fritch Pritchard's talking to me about something. I just completed, uh, when I was recording this, uh, I completed one of the main, main quest line things. Um, it's actually for another video I just recorded, um, not too long ago, so I'll put a, uh, annotation so you can look at that if you so would desire. Uh, do note you actually do have to pick this up, otherwise, um, you cannot pick it up and complete this. So drop what I had to take forever to figure out, hey, what am I going to pick and what am I going to drop? So uh, drop something. If you have enough room, go ahead and pick it up. Otherwise, um, otherwise you do have to pick it up in order to, uh, in order to complete it. Now, I am going to be coming back to this area in a little while uh, later on in the video. But for now, we're going to go ahead and go to the next part, which is uh, O'Malley's apartment. Now, if you remember previously, I went to this section and, and you actually have to go upstairs. Actually, you were here from one of the other videos that was for uh, the lesser evil. Now, go ahead and go up to his door. It's a, uh, it's a rank one security um, code. It's not that hard to crack. It doesn't take you very long. I just kind of skipped through it because I don't think you really want to watch me hack it. Then after that, go in. Um, one of the things you have to note is that all the stuff is inside of the uh, the next room to your right. Now, I'm just looking around to make sure I didn't miss anything, but um, I'll show you the rest of it. But that is a rank for um, console, and unfortunately at this point, my I personally am not high enough, so I had to... Uh, there's another way. You have to look for the pocket secretary, which is over to my right as soon as I turn around. It's in that bookcase over to the left. I actually was trying to pick up that gun, but, you know, stuff happens. 
Anyway, the pocket secretary to my left as soon as I walk over there. Actually contains the passcode. And just gonna decide to read the newspaper in the meantime. Anyway, there's the pocket secretary right there glowing. That actually contains the passcode and possibly a little evidence, but who knows. Anyway, it's 1029. Go ahead and uh, type that in if you can't hack it. If you can hack it, good for you. Anyway, don't rush in. There are mines, as you can see by the big glowing flesh things. Uh, what you need to do is blow them up with either a pistol, grenade, and if or if you are if you have invisibility, go ahead and do that. As you can see, I have my pistol out, which means I blew them up. Go over to this case. Go ahead and tap X to or click on to uh, open it up. Get some uh, evidence. Next, there's a packet of drugs over here. Go ahead and grab those. You'll be turning those over to Jenny later. Uh, the last piece of evidence is on the computer. I'm going to show you the uh, the safe there in just a second, but that really doesn't have anything in it. But it does give you, uh, if you have a high enough hacking, you can just um, you can just go and go right in, grab some extra shotgun shells. There's a uh, couple of extra things in there too. But this is the last piece of evidence you truly need. And this is the part where I show you what's in the safe, and it's not really all that important, because I was recording this all at the same time, so. Anyway, once, well, I couldn't hack it, nor did I want to, so I looked it up and found the code is, oddly enough, 1031, and, uh, which is kind of stupid, because the guy put his two away from his original. And speed that up, shows you what's in there. Next is to uh, go to the this apartment complex here and uh, basically take out these two gang leader dudes. And for some extra experience, take them alive. Either use the uh, stun gun. There's actually a place where you can hack a garage door and actually get a stun gun. So if you don't have one, you can get one there. Or you can buy it. Or at the beginning of the game, you can actually ask for a stun gun, which is what I did. Anyway, it's on the second floor down the hall to the left. Now... I'm going to fast forward to the part where I'm going to take them out. Um, as in, knock them out, not kill them. And as you see, you get actually a little bit of extra experience. If you get a 750 instead of just the standard, um, just your standard amount of experience. Now, this is the part I was talking about earlier. Now, you can cut through that part up into your right, that's where we pack up the package. Or you can go a couple staircases and try to jump it. Now, I highly wouldn't recommend it mainly because you would need the Icarus landing system in case you fell, because if you fall, it's an automatic death, which is annoying. Now then, I'm just going to go ahead and take that one path then, because it is, in fact, easier, and I don't have to much worry about it. Now, you do need the strength, the strength augmentation, so that way you can pick these boxes up. Do note there are a couple guys down there. And also be careful of the guys outside, even though they're green right now. Once you take out these two guys in here, they will turn hostile. So just try not to go out there until after you're done and what are you doing in here. Now I'm actually inside the place, and I've already taken out everybody. Because, well, I just want to show what to do, not what I did. Next, go in here, jump over this little, or go around it. Um, now in that hole down there, that's where the actual weapons cache is. And then there will be that little case again. See one you found in the apartment? Go ahead and click on that. Now there's an also a uh, reload upgrade there, so grab that if you so desire. Next thing is to talk to Jenny. And would you like that? We're almost done. Very, very close to be done. Go ahead and then tell her that you have completed what, you, uh, what she asked you to do. Go ahead and complete it right there. And then once you do that, you start you telling her me? what you found. You that now... Include, I mean, everything that you found so far. The drugs, the crossbow. Make sure you give that to her unless you can sell it. I mean, unless you're going to go for the uh, blood money achievement, which I am... Not the good blood money. That's actually the uh, description. The take achievement. Unless you're going to do that, I would highly recommend you give it to her, mainly for the sake of... Um, 
for the sake of her case. I don't know what happens if you don't give it to her because I didn't do that in my console version. But in the meantime, now she's going to say, okay, it's now your, now your chance to go ahead and take him down. I'm first going to show you how to get the take, and then I'm going to show you uh, what the opposite side of the spectrum is, either by not taking it. Now, if you do decide to take him down, make sure you do a non-lethal for, uh, for the two achievements for the... Uh, First of all, the one that counts towards uh, knocking people out with either hand-to-hand -hand or uh, non-lethal weapons, that's one. And then the other one for, uh, it's actually both of them, would you look at that? And the other one for just straight-up takedowns, one of them counts for the other. And the reason I'm saving right here is because that way when I do the, t the uh, one part of the take, I can just come right back. Now that, now that I've done that, I'm going to go ahead and talk to O'Malley, and now that I'm talking to him, he's going to say, Oh, are you interested in doing this instead? I'm like, okay, mainly for the sake of the achievement. Let's go ahead and let's hear him out. Now we're going to hear him out, and he's going to say something along the lines of, I got cash, I pay you off, you let me go. Allow me to make you a different offer. And then for the sake of this, I'm going to go, okay, I'll take I'm your money. Sorry. And he says, okay, I'm going to leave now. You, did. you played your cards and alliances more well, or less. And it's something I can respect. Still, now, he gives you 10,000, which in this game isn't a whole lot of money. It's enough to buy two augments. But at this early point in the game, you actually gain practice uh, practice kits left and right, so you don't have to really uh, worry about it that much. All right. But don't try to pull anything. Now, come on, Mr. Jensen. So then, when that would be I where it doesn't pop right away. You actually have to talk to Jenny, but I'm just showing you right now. You actually get 10 gamer table. score if you were to do this. She's right now, there. I mean, she's like right outside. She's not that far away, so... Go ahead, talk to her, basically say that he got away, yada, 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 the end, more or less. And then what will happen is, basically says, wow, this is fucked up. And then after that, she'll say, I'm, I'm leaving now, and get another 10. And on to the other, head, other side of the spectrum, which is to then get, um, basically get the good guy ending, I guess, the non-crooked cop, I guess. Go ahead and, uh, I, I loaded up where I saved last, I... Basically, load up my stun gun in case I can't take him down for some odd reason. Make sure you don't have a weapon pulled out on him. If you're going to do a hand-to-hand, -hand, make sure you're right next to him. Otherwise, because that way, when you, even though you're talking to him standing right there, when you pop out of the out of the dialogue, you'll pop right next to him, which, I mean, it's pretty convenient, I guess. And then for the sake of this, and for the sake of the two achievements together, I knock him out. Ha ha ha. Punch him in the face. Treachery. You're then, I'm going to go and leave this unfast forward because it's actually really short. And she says something pretty funny at the end. So. We're done. So be it. Go ahead and complete it. Now once you do that, she'll say something along the lines of, thank you. Um, if you don't kill him, um, you get extra experience. Whereas, uh, if you do the, uh, get the take achievements part where you take the money, or if you kill any of the people, including O'Malley and Double T and the other guy, you'll get not as much experience, and considering that you need this experience to get practice kits, it's pretty important, so I highly recommend it. So, And if you saw that at the very end, thought it was kind of funny, with her saying, oh, whatever your cute ass is up to. So, Anyway, um, thank you for watching, and uh, I'll have more videos in the future once I get them. So, uh, Thank you for watching, and have a good day.